game blows. Inhabitants of the planet Farmel have lived in peace since the establishment of the Star Date Calendar. They have traveled all around the galaxy with a new style spacecraft called the Lightship. Then one day, peace was disturbed by a mysterious big fortress. It was living and destroying all other civilizations just because it exists. The Federation of Intergalactic Powers, blah 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 blah, Air Fortress, blah blah blah, Hell Bailman, I guess that's me. Light blaster and armored suit, that's what I'm wearing. Blah blah fortress, blah blah safe farm. Got it. Okay, so we can see there's a very, uh, very elaborate plot involved, so let's get right into it. And I am now approaching the first air fortress. Implying there's more than one. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait, ho ho hold on a second. Ho hold on a second here. Air. Fortress. You are now approaching the first air fortress. Fortress. It doesn't say fortresses. Whatever. Let's go to the fucking first air fortress, because apparently there's eight of them. So. I thought, when I was a kid, that this was the entire ship, but looking at this now, and also seeing the live count, I think you're literally riding your ship. Like, not in the ship, you are quite literally riding your ship. That can't be safe. I mean, I know he has a spacesuit and all, but come on, that, that can't be safe. So much like Silver Surfer, not that this game is as hard as Silver Surfer, but much like Silver Surfer, if you touch the floor or the ceiling or anything, you just simply touch it, you fucking die. So you shoot a whole bunch of stuff, ranging from butterflies to flying eyes. And no, I'm not talking about what you look with, I'm talking about literally the letter I. You got these weird things that come out from time to time. You can use bombs. The whole goal is to collect energy, so you have as much energy as possible to survive when you get to the actual fortress area. Your bombs are more powerful than your regular shot. I haven't used any of them yet because I'm going to save them for right here. First level is pretty simple. Uh, we're basically about to get to the air fortress section already. So here I am with my little gun of sorts getting off the ship. You're now entering the air fortress. The story, this this would be it. This would be the end of the game. Then again, it'd be very short if that's the case. So, if you fly at all, or shoot for that matter, if you do anything in this game, you lose energy. Kind of seems counterproductive to having energy, doesn't it? So basically, you want to have energy. Because literally everything you do takes away from your energy. If you stand still, you can recharge it. Now, if you actually get hit by something, it permanently takes away from you. So, at that rate, you can't get it back unless you get an energy pickup, which I'm not sure if that even exists once you're in a fortress area. So you got all these random things firing at you, is what it is. See, I got hit there, so now if I try to recharge, I only have 790 as opposed to 800 that I came here with. This is another one of those random games that I played through a uh, friend that was much more fortunate than myself as far as a NES library goes. It's not a terrible game, but it gets very repetitive really fast, and of course it does get harder just like anything else does. 
kind of starts to grate on your nerves because what ends up happening is that eventually these places become more like mazes and you have to remember where to go. And the reason that's a bitch you'll see not long from now. Those things are annoying because you really can't do much about them except let them hit you. Nice little trick is to kind of stay in the door so you don't get hit. I'm gonna try to kind of just go as quickly as possible because it's getting kind of boring. Anytime you see that pipe, you know you're about to go to the boss or get close to the boss. Those things are annoying as hell to kill, plus they shoot those things, so you might as well just toss a bomb at it, like so. That's what I'd recommend saving the bombs for. That, you also want the bombs for the boss as well. Again, you could keep shooting at it, but that just takes forever and I don't have any patience, so let's just toss a couple bombs at it. Alright, it took three, excuse me. Now, this doesn't demonstrate my point very well, but the whole deal with that, and the game doesn't exactly tell you either, the screen turns dark, and you're on a timer. So you have to make your way from there to wherever the spaceship is. And the first level is literally right freaking there, so it's easy to tell. So I guess it kind of introduces you to the concept, but it doesn't exactly explain it, kind of like a lot of things in NES games. So... It is what it is. So here we are at level two. Things are gonna get ever so slightly harder. It's kind of like Gradius or Light Force. Any of those kind of games. Pretty basic. We. All right, so level two fortress steps it up real quick. Because now, as opposed to like enemies that are a joke, which these enemies are a joke, but we also have spikes. Now, if you fall into spikes, which you don't want to do of does decent, not much damage, it only does 10 a pop, but if you stay in any bit of spikes for too long, you're going to start taking damage real quick, and the thing that sucks is that you have recoil, so when you fire, you can easily back up in spikes like that, I did that just for demonstration. My health isn't in great shape, but you know what? We're going to roll with it. What other choice do I have, right? I already started. I've gone too far. Yeah, energy. Only escape. Okay, see? This is what I'm talking about. Like, this was the wrong way. This isn't the way of the boss, but that is the escape route. So, what we're gonna do is get out of here. Go the only other way there is to go. here. Hurry up. Shit. Shit. Oh, I missed with a bomb? I hope there aren't any more of those things. Oh, crap. These red guys are a nightmare. An absolute nightmare. They trash you, just like that. If anything... That's what you want to save your bombs for. Can I go through, please? Jesus. I have seven, eight hundred, eight fourteen. All right. Where are you? I know you're around somewhere, buddy. Jesus, every time you shoot at them, they shoot more shit. It's annoying. I'm gonna kill these things before I go to the stupid guy that I know is gonna fuck me up here. We're gonna bomb his ass this time, though. We're gonna be ready for him. It only takes one bomb. Which is good, I guess. One, two, three bombs! What? Four bombs! Okay, good. Perfect. What's past here? I wonder. What's the point of going this way? This isn't even the escape route. You know what? Fuck it. I'm not gonna find out. Oh god, he's back! He's back! 
I'm ill-equipped to deal with this. Alright, fuck it. See, the music gets all creepy and shit. And then the place starts shaking. Even though the game still doesn't really flat out tell you, hey, you're on a timer, that's kind of the way of the game telling you, hey, you better get the fuck out of here before you blow the fuck up. Hurry up! If there's a way to increase the timer, I have no freaking idea. I don't think there is. If I'm not mistaken, after a certain point, it shakes and starts turning red. Or the sound gets louder or something like that. But we're not going to find that out. Because I'd rather just beat this. Oh, crap. Other thing. No bombs. Stupid red things. Got this. Level changes I see here. Ah, I crashed into the damn fucking gears. See, this seems pretty basic, but it's little by little, the game just starts tossing these small little things at you that are more and more annoying. That really makes this game kind of a bitch. Like, around Air Fortress 6 or 7, which I think is about as far as I've ma ever made it in this game, things get really bad, really fast. And the biggest thing comes down to, again, just simply memorizing the escape route, or knowing where the escape route is in advance. Fuck em. Feeding me bombs. I'm okay with this. It means if I run into one of those assholes, I can just spam. Spam bombs. Oh, this isn't nice. set up there. Okay. Now, this is all well and dandy and everything, but we haven't found the escape route to this level. So, here we go. This is gonna be a true test of what I was talking about before, to where you gotta find the escape route before time runs out. And we didn't find it beforehand. So something that a more patient player would want to do is find the escape route before you get to the boss. If you find the boss first, turn the fuck around and find where the escape route is, just to be on the safe side. But you see, I never do that. So I kind of screw myself in that category. Oh wait, it's right there. Ah, all right. We're in War Air Fortress 4. Definitely didn't expect to get there. I think I said earlier that I play until I usually continue, but screw that. I've gone too far. We're gonna see how far we. Damn it! Let's continue too. Why do I get this bad feeling? I'm going on the way of the boss, and I'm not gonna find the escape route. Hey, I found the escape route. Ha! <laughs> well. Okay, now I know where it is at least, but I gotta find the boss. Okay, I found the boss! You know, I don't even know if you could really call them bosses, because they're not hard. Well, that just put me in a completely different place. 
That's some bullshit. Oh, this is where the guys fucked me up. This has got to be it. Oh, shit. Now, there's more flashing. Oh, no, no, kill him! Oh! If we get the guys attacking me, that's a good sign, because that means I'm going the right way. I think we got this this time. Really? Fucking kill him! Thank you! Give me energy, yay! Fucking two bombs. Yeah! Got this! Uh-oh, we changed the background color again. Oh, shit. That means things are getting serious. Oh, speaking of which. Oh, those things are annoying. You have to be right in between them. Or just hope you're way out of the way of fire. Because you will get your shit wrecked with those guys. See, now they mix in these things. Like, you see, now the ship levels become a, to be a... I can't even talk. Now, the ship levels start being a bitch. See? I'm telling you, th this game... ...tortures you every little bit at a time. So there's little minor things that change each level... ...that make it that much more difficult. Okay, then. Oh, joy! Oh, it's a dead end! All that for a dead end! I am so fucked right now. I got bombs, that's good, right? At least there's something good about this. Can you even kill that thing? It doesn't die. And apparently, that does damage to you. I should've known better. You want to kill as much as possible, but to kill as much as possible, you quite literally have to be in the line of fire. See, like, right there, the last time I played, he dropped a bomb. This time, he dropped no bombs. Like an asshole. The game's being nice with invincibility pickups, sure, but as far as actual pickups that give me health or bombs, it's not giving me shit. It's being very generous with invincibility. And the thing that kills everything on screen, sure, but that really doesn't help me for when I go into the freaking Air Fortress. Drop bombs! Asshole! Oh, they put energy in the fucking meteor. How'd I even kill an enemy in the meteor? That doesn't make any damn sense! We're still gonna go this way, but not... Exact same way we went last time. We're gonna go down here this time. Oh, fuck him. We can skip him entirely, that's what we're doing. No, no, fall faster! Oh! Get up there! Yes! I took way too much damage, but whatever. Oh my god, they put these in here? I have no bombs! Oh my god! I am so fucking fucked. Ass! Fuck this. I, I, I'm done. I, I, I can't. I just can't anymore. I, I somehow... I, I'm pretty sure I made it to 6 or 7 as a kid. I never beat this game because... Reasons. Reasons which you saw throughout this video. I, I just... I've been at this for about an hour. I got more than enough footage. Uh, that's it. This, this is where I call it. I, I can't anymore. This game. This, this, this is fucking Air Fortress. Except the lies. The Air Fortresses. And unfortunately, the Air Fortresses have gotten the best of me. So before I lose my sanity, I'm going to call it here. That's been another retro memory, and really, it's going to be the final retro memory. Although I do have a video.
slot to fill that I haven't thought of anything for yet, so... If the demand is there, I'll try to finish this game? Really don't want to do that, though. That, and I don't think anyone's paying nearly enough attention for that to happen anyway. So... Probably get myself out of that one real quick. Anywho, see you guys, be next time. Peace!